Hello everyone, my name is Jim Donnelly and I am a technical agronomist with the Calvin Asgro in Northern Illinois. And uh, about six days ago, I shot a, a quick video from about this same spot uh, up here in, in far eastern Carroll County. And uh, during that video, I was telling you about uh, what we were seeing uh, as far as some, uh, some, some extreme tar spot infections and you know what we were dealing with at the time was um, you know severe leaf infections and you could see that um, I was pushing some stalks over and really wasn't getting a lot of resistance and if you look behind me um, we just had a weather event a few days ago and unfortunately uh, a lot of this is is on the ground so I'm standing in about the same spot that I was standing in uh, just uh, about six days ago and this uh, particular area took it pretty hard. Um, this particular hybrid is a 112 day uh, RM product. Um, so there was still a lot uh, yet to go. It, it shouldn't have been as far along as it was. Uh, but in this particular case, it was really going downhill fast. And uh, you can see that it unfortunately is, is on the ground. So um, again, this was predominantly or, or solely due to tar spot infections uh, that really came in early and started to uh, basically take the whole plant. The plant started to cannibalize itself and this led to a very poor lower stock quality. And you could see it didn't really take much of a wind event to unfortunately kind of pull this down. So, um, you know, the unfortunate news is there's more and more cases up in Northern Illinois, uh, Southern Wisconsin all the time and uh, we continue to see the disease really start to uh, take a hold of, of fields throughout the countryside. So one thing that's important, I think that farmers realize is that even in instances where tar spot not, might not be as extreme as some fields uh, that came in early, uh, if they had a field that it, that it came in late, and to be quite honest with you, that's a lot of Northern Illinois, uh, even if they had one that came in late, stock integrity uh, can still be an issue. Uh, yield impact may be uh, very little to non-existent. We just don't know that yet. Uh, but one thing that we can tell is that, um, you know, in some of these instances where we have uh, uh, the disease that came in late, uh, stock integrity can be compromised as well. So you kind of look at these and you still have a decent amount of uh, green in them. Uh, you can kind of look at the ears there. You know, still some health in it, but it really doesn't take much to push them over and have it snap. Uh, it's not nearly as bad as, as say, the, uh, the the heaviest fields that I've been in, um, but they are a little brittle. So that one pushed over very easily, uh, kinked very easily there. Uh, that one was okay, but um, definitely something that every producer should watch out for. In northern Illinois and Wisconsin and other areas that uh, have had uh, tar spot really come in. Again, uh, lots to learn. There will be uh, additional information coming out uh, from us as well as uh, University Extension. Uh, but in the meantime, um, go out, look at your fields, uh, see what you have for stock integrity, and make sure you're at least prioritizing for harvest for this year. And um, you know, stay tuned this coming fall and winter on additional information with regards to tar spot and from a management standpoint in 2019.